A few people have said that uh, these channels are not working, so I just kind of want to run through them and show you that they are working. Um, some of them don't work, they're not perfect, but there are a lot of them, a lot of them that do work. So um, I'm just going to pick channels at random and kind of just run through them to show you that they work. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. I work hard. I do a good job. Okay. Um, which they were saying BBCs did not work. So I'll try another BBC channel. Which they they all kind of show the same thing if you notice. Getting one, please. I'm okay, so the BBCs actually do work. Um, let's go to BBC Two. The children. Oh, yes. Um, let's try one of the ITV stations. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm just going to do a real quick follow up to my PBR Assemble Client video that I did some weeks back. If you want to know what I'm talking about, the video will be in the cards. Now, most people are saying it's working fine for them, but there are a few people who are having some issues. So, I just wanted to do this video to um, help anyone out who may be having issues with the PVR Simple Client. Okay, so the first issue that I have heard is that um, somebody says they don't have this little TV section right here. Well, um, a couple of things. If you skipped a step and did not go to Systems, TV, General, and Enable right here, then you're not going to have the TV section. The other thing that you're going to want to do, and this will also solve... Uh, for anyone else who is having issues with any channels running on um, the simple client, what you what you can always do is go into video add-ons and then um, go to your Israel Live add-on and click C or hold the, the menu button and go into your context menu. Click on add-on settings. Under add-on settings, there is a section to update your channel list. So you can update the channel list and make sure that everything is current. Uh, sometimes things go down for maintenance um, and then they'll come back. So always make sure that you update your channel list because there's no um, download intervals like there are for some of the EPGs out there. So make sure that you uh, refresh your channel list at least once every couple days or if you run your Kodi frequently, you can do that, you know, every other day or so. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can, if you're not seeing the TV, uh, click Enable Live TV. That could help you find the TV section on your Kodi home screen. Um, you can also refresh Live TV Required Resources. So, um, those are just a couple of things that you can do. Now, um, another thing that, that you can do if you are wanting more U.S. content and you're not getting it in the PVR Simple Client, um, it's mostly British um, channels. However, there are also some Canadian channels and a few U.S. channels as well. But if you're looking for your main uh, channels, your ABC, CBS, and all that, then I would advise going to an add-on such as US TV Now because that is going to give you your mainstream channels. That's going to give you your, um, your CBS, your ABC, your NBC, your uh, independent stations, um, and your PBS stations as well. See, this is what US TV now will give you.
and these work flawlessly and they have guides attached to them so the, this is what I would recommend um, and for this you do need an account so you'll need an account here at USTVNow.com just type this into your browser um, this was designed for American citizens who travel abroad but um, what you can do when you're signing up it just says on your American citizen say yes and um, you'll be able to create an account now if you are already in the United States you may not be able to create an account so just use um, any number of IP address blockers and you can find some of them I do a video of Chrome Essentials apps so you can find some of them in there one of the ones that I use which is easiest is Anonymex um, so just block your IP address or change it to a, U, um, a European country and then make your account and that should be fine. Um, I don't know if they still make you uh, be out of the US when creating the account though I created mine a long time ago. So um, this works fine. They never really spam you. Um, it's, uh, it's a really good site to have for US channels. Um, and then you can find this out on Fusion and a, a few other places as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over that with you guys. If you are still having problems, please let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.